and welcome back. <laughs> We're moving into our second conversation for today as we get all the details about the upcoming third annual challenge ride. This is, of course, uh, being coordinated by the Belize Cancer Society. And we have with us on set the administrator, Heather Renault. And we have fitness uh, instructor and nutritionist, Karen Rosito, and general energizer as well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having it's us. It's so nice to have you guys. And you know, and my first question to Karen, that you run in your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Alina, I said, yes, she does. <laughs> no, you know, my mind keeps going in my sleep. I don't necessarily <laughs> run. <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's very dear to us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, health, the health aspect of the entire family mm -hmm. and uh, cancer continues to be one that we've got to be aware of mm -hmm. uh, you know we need to take care of ourselves take care of our health but let's jump on into uh, the Belize Cancer Society and what's going on uh, and of course we've got something upcoming yes. so talk to us about it well this month is actually our breast cancer awareness month so uh -huh. all over the world you'll see people put on those little pink ribbons mm -hmm. because we support breast cancer this month but we always been hearing, oh, you guys do everything for the mm -hmm. woman. You do everything for the... Even when we come on the show, we mm -hmm. say, we have to do something for the males. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have to say kudos to the Benny's Megabyte cycling team, Mr. Stanley Longsworth, Mr. Mm -hmm. Perry Gibson, mm -hmm. Kwame Scott, James Nisbet, and Ms. Camille Solis. And we had this idea three years ago that they wanted to create a ride that would mimic what people go through for a cancer journey. Wow. So it's not a race. And it's not a regular ride. If you notice, our ride is in two stages. So day one goes from Dangriga to San, to Ignacio. San Ignacio. Yes. And then day two goes from San Ignacio, from the Benke border to Belize mm -hmm. City. Mm -hmm. So they're there showing their support and building the awareness for prostate cancer. Because you know that men are not like women. We'll say, oh, it's Breast Cancer Month. Let's teach everybody how to do your self-breast exam. Mm -hmm. We know we have to get our checkups. But our men are a little more abrasive they don't really come forward they don't really want to talk about prostate cancer they don't even really want to talk about health they don't want to go to the doctor at all exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> me, <it's> statistics <laughs> yes. so and statistically it shows that breast cancer is our leading cause of death for a woman and prostate for a man Amen. so we have to get out there and spread the awareness give the education and urge people to get checked yeah. because Early prevention is the best. You cannot beat early prevention and detection. Because when you meet these diseases at a very late stage, the survival rate diminishes vastly. Mm -hmm. So you don't have as much fighting power as you would have if you caught it at an early stage. So if you know your body, and the risk factors for cancer is the same as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, because it's a part of NCDs. Mm -hmm. So getting these guys out there, getting on your bike, and some of them are professional riders, but we have people that come on beach cruisers. Mm -hmm. You could ride one mile, you could beach ride two cruisers miles. up the hill. Oh, okay, there you go. Girl, okay. We had a young man tell her Karen, who, 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 who. from I think it was from Belmopan. From Belmopan. Um, on a beach cruiser. Mm -hmm. Kept up with everybody else. With the guys so. on professional bikes as well. <clears throat> and the thing is with men is that, especially prostate cancer, yeah. when you start having pain or passing blood in the urine, it's already too late. Mm -hmm. So they ask men at 40 and over to do a PSA test, right? It's just a blood test, no rectal, you know, they're like, exactly. oh, it's yeah. a rectal mm -hmm. um, test, and no, it's just a PSA. If it's high, then you go ahead. But that, those, that's for men over 40. But what if you have a history yeah. of prostate cancer in the family? Yeah. Then it's time to check. My thing is here, why I'm, it's there to be the Cancer Society is that we don't often think of cancer until it affects us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what about just giving to the Blaze Cancer Society just in case, mm -hmm. right? You said today for me, tomorrow, tomorrow for you. Tomorrow. But we're asking here as well, especially me, mm -hmm. I work at Digin or um, formerly BTL. We are saying every year, no matter what, we sponsor. Mm -hmm. And yes, we're a corporate entity, but we could decide to put our money mm -hmm. elsewhere. But we sponsor in cash and in kind, mm -hmm. because we show up. We show up, we have Ivan Tessicomer C, um, CFO showing up, riding, daunting. You ever think of how far it is from Dan Greek? I think, good in your mind, Tobenke, the Amongta Hills, yeah. it's a brutal ride. Mm -hmm. I mean, saddle sores, muscular cramps, but they do it in the name of health. health. Men's health, mm -hmm. men 
um, number one cause of cancer in Belize is prostate. Yeah. In the world, for men, it's long. Mm -hmm. yeah. They smoke mm -hmm. more than we do, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. Then it's colorectal. Mm -hmm. No, that is one that everybody should know. Yeah. Because if you're not a stool good every single day, then you'll know something wrong That's with right. you mm -hmm. because you eat three times a day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So men will never go and get a colonoscopy or just go to maybe Dr. Musa or Dr. Gibral to check out. Oh, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So their thing is, um, I'm going to, nothing is wrong with me. I don't feel bad. But when you start passing blood, then you know, mm -hmm. hey, just hurry go. Either urine or stool. Yeah. Yes, urine or stool because you have prostate cancer. You have testicular cancer mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's one that you're in the shower, warm, cold, whatever, mm -hmm. and you... You can check yourself. Check yeah. yourself. Just like Take how you do yourself. Press and yourself. squeeze and yes. rub it lightly between. Mm -hmm. And if you feel a little bump, like a leaf plum seed, mm -hmm. that texture or smaller, mm -hmm. why well, run the doctor, mm -hmm. right? Because then check yourself. Or any changes. Any changes. But this, exactly. is, this is what I always find, and, and this is where I know it probably is frustrating from the mm -hmm. cancer society, or not frustrating, mm -hmm. it pushes you to, to spread more awareness mm -hmm. and education. Breast cancer, prostate cancer, are both, which are leading mm -hmm. uh, cancers in Belize, mm -hmm. are both diseases that can be detected early, mm -hmm. um, and that can be treated in other words, your survival rate, if you've detected it early, is mm -hmm. far better than anything else, exactly. than something internal exactly. that you don't know is happening till mm -hmm. it's too late. That's right. And so it means that we really are just neglecting to pay attention. attention. And we really, it's, it's really a big deal mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. or women, you take it for granted and say, oh, we have two births, we do our self-breast exam, but how many women do their self-breast breast exam mm -hmm. every month. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many women notice the changes in their breasts when they have their menstruation or when they're off their menstruation or if they're a woman going through menopause yeah. Yeah. or if a child going through puberty? How much of um, our check our children? Because men get breast cancer as well yeah. yep. and it's more detrimental for a man than a woman. Yeah. How much of us go out there actively doing our checks and making sure that our cholesterol is good, our blood pressure is good because we live a yeah. a stressful life yeah. and if you don't realize that you have to sleep properly you have to eat properly drink water you need to exercise and drink water is very essential mm -hmm. a lot of people don't emphasize drinking water yeah your body is more than 60 percent of water wow. you need it to think properly you need it to function properly especially for a growing child mm -hmm. and part of these these problems that we're having is the stuff that we're loading our body with yeah. previously we was here when we joined with you guys on a childhood obesity campaign mm -hmm. and all these diseases we have to get to the root causes we have to get to the the, the most influential um yeah. factor and those are the kids because mm -hmm. the things we're loading our kids up with at Five, five, six, six seven, yeah. exactly. And our yeah. teenagers, they're developing cancer in later stages. Yeah. They're yeah. developing Early. high blood pressure. They're yeah. having cholesterol ulcers, problems, ulcers. ulcers. What? Takis and mm -hmm. bone cheetos. Exactly. But you know, and, and you know, and the conversation needs to start in the home. And, and this is where, because we've sat here so many times mm -hmm. and we, we've talked about uh, things that are taboo in terms of dealing with the body, because mm -hmm. we're talking here about feeling your body, touching yourself, touching see yourself. what's going yes. on, if, yeah. you know, if you're You okay, have to know your body. You, you, you need to, to know, know your mm -hmm. body. We also mentioned early detection, mm -hmm. and uh, we've seen, uh, sitting here again, we've mm -hmm. seen, uh, we've, we've talked so many times about uh, how early it is now that we're seeing cancers and ulcers, and so should we stick at that 40-year-old uh, in terms of going, getting a, your colonoscopy or, or your prostate cancer check? Uh, you know, at least scared, because yeah. I thought it's it. <laughs> The 40 year old is uh, was set by insurance, mm -hmm. yeah. the insurance companies. Yes. But you can, most of you us, can check. fortunately, they have the mm -hmm. NHI also. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's literally free when you think about mm -hmm. what you spend money on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So There's nothing holding is, you back from getting checked. When you, when you decide you're going to give a child a five year old, six year old, five dollars for lunch, for lunch yeah. at school. you know that child won't buy mm -hmm. anything, can't healthy. buy anything mm -hmm. healthy. She'll buy bonchitos candy That's the truth. and so yeah. instead of getting up and making a beans mm -hmm. sandwich for your kid and please don't send my kid no eat beans because it's your <laughs> fault that they don't eat beans yeah. exactly. right? you control what that child that ch eats mm -hmm. and not eat yeah. right so my my plea here is not only well with my friend heather to ask that they support the cancer ride 
the 13th? The 13th and, and the 14th, 14th of October. But to us, that if you're not going to ride or you can't ride, but drop a lean money at Mercy. It's Mercy Lane. Mercy, mm -hmm. Mercy Lane. They can't sell. Right yeah, you can't miss it. Right there. Mm -hmm. And there's a big thing, bow ribbon, up there. Right? So you know it. Just drop it. You know, I'm giving. If 10,000 people give a dollar, that's $10,000. 10,000. And exactly. so when it's your turn or your family's turn to go, yes, we know I say, oh, you may give, so we give you. We oh. have to give. Period. Mm. Give until we don't have any more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So and people don't yeah. recognize that education costs. When the Cancer Society goes out there and we educate and we provide those pamphlets and those posters and those trinkets for people to keep that information in their homes and mm -hmm. have it accessible, mm -hmm. it comes at a cost to us. Yeah. So when we do these campaigns, like for the prostate cancer, we're hoping that we can provide another set of free PSAs for yeah. men. Last year, SMART sponsored free mammograms for women. Wow. So that is how we're able to link up with corporate sponsors. Mm -hmm. yeah. For the ride, we have to say we have companies that came right out on the front. They're like, we don't have a lot of money, but let's see if we can let's help you with this. Yeah. Let's see if we can help you with that. We have to say thank you to Simon Kwan, CPBL, Tropic Air, mm -hmm. you know, Caribbean Shipping. We have these companies coming out of the woodworks and we are happy that they're realizing the cause. Yeah. When you go on these rides and when you see the clips from these rides, you will see that these are men supporting other men. Mm -hmm. Even if they're from different cycling teams, some are from Smart, some are from Digi, some are from Benny, some are from the Kayo team, Western Spirit, they're all out there supporting each other. And we have a lot of women that ride as well. Mm. How do you keep the, I mean, do you try to get the conversation going while they're riding? Because since it's not a race, they have time to kind of chat yes. with each other. Yes. Do you try yes. to get that as an education session as well? Well, when they're going through those hills, it's a bit hard to educate <laughs> them. <laughs> I can imagine. Wait yeah. for the flat. Yeah, but <laughs> remember the moment you decide to travel all the way to mm -hmm. Dan Griga from the Saturday, Saturday night, yeah. you have to sleep there mm -hmm. because the ride begins at 6, the then morning. you know they're on board. Yes. They know why they're there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, and I saw, like last year, some people take massive lick. Oh, yeah. But every time, like the back of um, maybe Cisco Hill mm -hmm. comes up or the gap, they get off their bikes, get in a service mm -hmm. vehicle, and get on back, exactly. put it roll down. Yeah. Yeah. So I, and I said, oh, my goodness, I don't expect, especially mm -hmm. if you're a little bit overweight or obese. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple of them out there. But and look, they, they were out there supporting. They pushed. Yeah. And that's what, for us, what matters, what mm -hmm. counts. Right, so. Have you seen a grow a growth in participation? Yes. This is the third ride, right? Yes. This is the uh, third ride. Yes. What so. about helping bikes? If you want to go, you don't have a bike. What do you do? Okay, well, you mm. contact our donors bike shop, and they'll be able to give you an idea of where you can source a bike. Maybe you can borrow one from a friend. Like I'm saying, you, you don't can have start to have a professional bike. Yep. And there are always cool, bikes. Yes. How many mountain bikes. Belizeans can say that right in their homes they have three bikes, and, and they, they don't ride use. them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's I'm not true. talking about stationary bikes. <laughs> <laughs> But um, it's so funny. Are clothes, clothes <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Ordonez is such a big part of any ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you go there and he has maybe a bike, he say, okay, I want to lend you the bike, make sure you're not scratching. Mm -hmm. But he also has a payment program but, where mm -hmm. if you're working, just like you get to a coach, mm -hmm. people run that these agencies, these companies, yeah, and they get a coach and a bed and they get TV. Yeah. Boy, you can't use that when, unless you unpound it when you're sick. Mm -hmm. But my thing is a bike is, is prevention. Yeah. You right. notice, even though you walk, you run on a bike, you can be big, small, any age, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. and you can see it still. I know you notice Sister B passing every day on her bike. Her bike, yes. Slow but sure. Mm -hmm. on, on a, on a beach, beach cruiser. cruiser. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a little bit, you and I were talking about mm -hmm. doing things over time. Another thing I want to stick in is people, women especially, mm -hmm. oh, Christmas is coming. I'm going to go on a ketogenic diet. Be I'm careful. going to go on the Atkins diet. Let me tell you, anything, anybody that will tell you you have to eat bacon dipped in butter <laughs> and you have to eat 10 boiled eggs a day, you know it's wrong. Yeah, so you can't maintain it. Yeah. And then you could set up yourself for getting exactly. sick and stuff yeah. that we're trying to or prevent. High or high cholesterol. High cholesterol. High cholesterol. High cholesterol. Exactly. Right? Yeah. High blood because pressure if you have a yeah. history Everything in your family. You, put, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. these, yeah. And these things mess with your vision as well. Exactly. Your hearing. And it, Conf okay, exactly. Because you're not exactly. eating carbohydrates, you're confused. Sundays, you're like, just don't forget to put it on. Yeah. Right? Because, but people try to find a quick fix. Why not get on a bike now? By next year this time, you'll be buying clothes because you'll lose so much okay. weight. Right? And be healthier. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know at what point we start. I don't know what to do at this stage. Because yeah. every day it's an issue. Mm -hmm. Then, for, I'm a nutritionist, you hear the phone ring. I need you for help me because I have diabetes. Why should I make a long time? Mm -hmm. Right? Because you knew. Yeah. You know? Just like 
The other cancer that we we're not familiar with until it hits you is melanoma skin mm -hmm. cancer. Skin cancer. Because we, we people of color, we say, oh, that's a white oh, people. Oh, we yeah. can't get we don't need that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the yeah. darkest person, you still have skin, skin. the largest yeah. organ. Yeah. And you can get skin cancer. It could start there and spread everywhere else. Yeah. 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 And you see a little mole on your face, any part of your body. Again, the body thing. You know, like exactly. take selfie, selfie your body, right? Mm -hmm. And you see this big We always tell women that. Yeah. And then Who you touch the... And it's uneven, mm -hmm. it's kind of rough. Change Check shapes. yourself, man. Yeah. Yeah. Check yourself. Yeah. Wow. So I, I, love, I love the theme yeah. that you have going for the cancer, right? Supporting our men and their families. Their families. Exactly. Yeah. And so this is about getting men involved in yes. cancer awareness. Yes. Um, you know, I'm sure that since you've done it for two years, you've probably heard the guy say, finally, they're doing something for <laughs> us, right? Is it again? She did. Because, did. because I, we always get accused of it on the show, but, you know, I, I, I'm a firm believer. We fulfill our promise, they gotta work for it too, you know? <laughs> right. yeah. And that's what you're saying. Yes. The men came together and mm -hmm. said, we want something. Yes. Um, and so they, they got this together. They got so this together. It's and not just men that participate. No, no. Yeah. it's and women. We have an entire service crew. Yes. Yeah. As remember, up those hills, you tend to get and the sweating mm -hmm. crumbs. Yeah. Yeah. So we even have junior massage yes. uh, and senior massage, senior massage therapists. Yes. Mm. Wow. Right? And <laughs> one of the, the leading females, a cyclist on our team, is Camille Solis. Camille she Solis. is a part yes. of the planning committee. Wow. Yeah. Right. And I see like ladies like Leticia Westby, mm -hmm. they do it every year. Mm -hmm. We even have young girls coming, coming out, out yeah. with At their least, fathers, you know, and that was miles. amazing to awesome. us. Well, if, uh, because you don't have to ride the entire journey, mm -hmm. just be there. And the cameras are always there, so no worry, you will get <laughs> <laughs> an exposure. <laughs> so how do people register? <laughs> what does it cost? Well, it costs $25 a day, okay. and you can register at the Cancer Society or at Wilderness Bike Shop. You can either register for one day, two days. You can get the complete package and get your commemorative shirt as nice. well. Mm -hmm. And your registration entitles you to full hydration, mm -hmm. you get your lunch and your breakfast at the beginning and end of each day. Beautiful. Yep. So, two and days. Two days. along the way. Yes, you're fully taken yep. care of. You get sandwiches, you get fruits, and we have to say a big thank you to our Dangriga branch, Miss mm -hmm. uh, Lisa Cheng on our Kaya mm -hmm. branch, Miss Flora Usher, Miss Carmen, all the ladies that we harass yearly mm -hmm. to, to support us when we come out there with all these guys. Yeah. And we have to say a big thank you because it's a lot of working parts getting it together. Yeah. Kia, yeah. Boeing, and Boeing Kia is one of the biggest sponsors. Yeah. They come out and get all our service vehicles. Miss Aviola, she look out for us. If we yeah. don't contact her, she says, I know you guys are coming. When are you coming? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's beginning to take the shape of a yearly yeah. event that people look forward to, That's that great. our men look forward to. Mm. And you know, in October as well, we highlight our women. So we have to say a big thank you to our special envoy for women and children, Mrs. Barrow. Mm -hmm. She normally does a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. And this year, I know the unveiling will be amazing. It's a bit different. Wow. Oh. We have new ladies, younger ladies, because that is one of the issues we're seeing, younger and younger women having breast cancer. Yeah. So we need to get this awareness out there. We need to get our women to check themselves. Because if you don't know your body, when you go to the doctor and the doctor asks you, what's wrong? You say, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So, so you need, check. exactly, <laughs> you need to say, Doc, when I lift my arms, it hurts, or I feel like I have a little lump in the breast, and my breast is heavy. And it's very sad sometimes yeah. when... And it's better to check it. It's better mm. to check it and it's nothing than to not check it and it's just a yeah. cancer that's growing exactly. inside of you. Because yeah. sometimes it's not a cancer. Yeah. Sometimes you have hormone changes, sometimes you have or cysts in your breast. Yeah. Exactly, cystic breast. It, it's, there are a lot of different causes. Mm -hmm. It yeah. might not have to be cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like we're saying, early prevention find out yeah. because some mm -hmm. people say oh if i have cancer i have diabetes i don't want to know yeah. any case yeah. something will kill me yeah. Yeah, like but it's the quality of life you will have until time you it die takes to kill you yeah. right so and yeah. again early detection of these particular cancers are treatable in other words exactly. sometimes it's a simple surgery that can mm -hmm. be done here yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and you're fine yes, yes. Um, and so, you know, I think if people really understand that, then they'll, they'll seek out uh, some of the screening process. Yeah. Prostate, Karen, I'm glad you said it. It doesn't have to be the digital rectal no. exam, mm -hmm. which men seem to think no. is... It's just a It's PSA. a blood test first. It's a, br it's a blood, blood test mm -hmm. first. Yeah. I think it costs $5 at the government lab. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know the lab that yeah. by Social Security? Mm -hmm. yeah. and if you have NHS. Yeah. If you, yeah. No, but I think... Yeah, no, the, yeah. if the you have NHS. The private about $7. Seven. But my yeah. thing is, what is seventy dollars, <laughs> right? For your life. Help. And the thing is, with prostate cancer, there are no signs, yeah. no symptoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you know you have, when you, something is wrong, it's late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Older men get prostate cancer simply because of their age. And they'll tell you, oh, we won't operate. It's going to grow, and they will die before it mm -hmm. turns bad. But for younger men, if you know your pie, your grandpa, is a chur yeah. had Check. cancer, Check. then you better start checking. Mm -hmm. Honorable Finnegan is a great uh, yes. example. He's been an advocate, speaking of yes. knowing his family history mm -hmm. and consistently getting checked. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's a great story that we tell a lot I of our men and a lot of that story motivated men to go get checked yeah. mm -hmm. because they realize that this is the minister. Yeah. I, this can happen to me. Like he mm -hmm. was being checked. He was going to his doctors and everything. So what happened to it's me when I've been a doctor for the past yeah. four or five years? <laughs> yeah. It makes you wonder. Yeah. And we have to act on these things. Yeah. So people think sometimes that, yes, that it's expensive to go for tests and suppose there's nothing not wrong with you. Why are you wasting this money? You're not wasting money mm -hmm. not because it's, it's to cheaper to be healthy than to be sick, sick. because oh. healthcare is very expensive. Yeah. For mm -hmm. a cancer patient to go through chemotherapy and radiation, you're looking at 12 plus thousand yeah. dollars, dependent on the cancer. <laughs> some people have to mortgage homes, some people lose their jobs. Relationships. Because it, exactly, because it's, it's life. Yeah. And you have your bills after that, you have your children, you have your regular life to live. So when cancer hits, or diabetes hits and you have to do dialysis, which is like $500 a session. Three per week. <laughs> Where do we find these funds? Yeah. So why not a 10 years in advance or a five years before we start looking and say, okay, the sugar levels be a wow. bit high, the blood pressure be a bit high. Because my weight watch is high. Eat, my weight is high because yeah. obesity leads to breast cancer as well. Also. It's linked to cancer. Mm -hmm. And to the cancer around the reproductive yeah. organs. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, I'm glad that you guys are saying this because at this particular point, we're, we're, we're seeing it much more than we, we saw it once. Yeah. And Diet. so people need, yes, and people mm -hmm. need to start. I could remember, and I have to, and I have to give, uh, you know, I have to say kudos to this, and may he rest in peace, Adrian Harris. Yes. I could remember that yes. they sitting down in that studio and seeing, you know, the, the ailment on his mm -hmm. face. And uh, Adrian told me, you know what, John, just start work out. Exactly. And from that day, run boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because, because we, we need to do something about our bodies. Mm -hmm. But the fact that, Early detection is, you know, is what would, would eventually save you, is what we need to be very exactly. cognizant of. Exactly. Very, very cognizant of. So we covered the prostate screening. Let's talk about the breast cancer screening. Mm -hmm. How do you check your breast? Okay, well, there is a simple way to check your breast. It's self-breast examination, and you can do it in a tub. And when we do our presentations, we tell our, our ladies that it's best when you're soaping your body. Mm -hmm. You take your fingers and you gently press in a circular motion with one of your hands above your head. Mm -hmm. You check all your lymph nodes. You check the entire you breast You check area. under the arms. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. under the arms to make sure that you don't have any little balls well, or any pain. Yeah. You know, you check the entire breast and you can do that yourself. Mm -hmm. So by the time you feel something, you already know that you need to go to the doctor because this wasn't there last month. Yeah. I mm -hmm. did not feel this. And yeah. what we tell them, like Marlene was saying, take a selfie pic, not to be posted on any social media yeah. for anybody to see, <laughs> but for yourself. Yeah. Standing in the mirror and you see if your breast looks the same way, yeah. they hang the same way, they have the same shape, they're not lumping, the skin isn't changing color, mm -hmm. it's not changing consistency because yeah. sometimes with breast cancer, people say, oh, if I don't have a lump, I don't have breast cancer. No. Right, yeah. There are different types of breast cancer. Cancer of the nipple. Exactly. You have wow. inflammation, inflammatory breast cancer where the breast just increase in size. Mm -hmm. Some people think they're busty and it's getting all voluptuous, <laughs> but it's actually a cancer. Yep. Wow. And the breast goes until sometimes the nipple bursts. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate that we have women that are going through this and still don't want to come out and get checked. They're afraid to They're move. stigmatized. Yeah. They're told a lot of things. You know, especially sometimes when you're in a relationship, it's a bit difficult for them. And just for, the, I, just for people to, to open their eyes about these things, are we seeing that these things right here at home in Belize? Yes, we yes. are. We're having young women staying until late stages in their homes, not accessing care until it's a bit too late. When, and when this is a reality. When they see the pus coming out or the breast bleeding or it's burst, then they want to take action. Mm -hmm. But we cannot be a sedentary public and sit back and have this happen. Yeah, absolutely. We need to be proactive. Yeah. So that's why our mantra for this year is early detection. Early prevention is the best detection. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to find out. Yeah. What is the right? So be healthy and take be proactive. That's mm -hmm. right. And, and there's BFLA. Mm -hmm. There's, There's a special work. right now at BFLA. Yes. Yes, we work very oh, close oh, 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 oh. at Belize yeah. Medical Associates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always. Right now, it's men's health. Mm -hmm. They're yes. into. But it, it, if it costs $100, it's a lot of money. Yeah. 
And it's some people have insurance and don't use it to you. A lot of people, yeah. oh yes. A lot of yes. people because have insurance they don't, and don't use you it. You know, the, 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 the mitigating factor is fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't want to That's know. the biggest thing, yeah. And That's the another thing, thing that we have to say is a reality. We have so many people coming to us to support with diagnostic testing. Mm -hmm. We try to support with treatment, but now we're realizing that before people get to treatment to get diagnosed, they have steps to get there. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes they're not on NHI because NHI is a big help for a lot of people. Yeah. But a lot of people are not on NHI. Okay. And when they need an MRI or they need an ultrasound or they need a CAT scan, they need some support. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why when the Cancer Society fundraise, we ask that you try to give. We also have a huge land raffle that we're doing at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. mm. So that starts from October. If you see that you don't want to support the Prostate Cancer Awareness Rider, you're not an avid cyclist, mm -hmm. you're not into the breast cancer, you can support a land raffle where you can say, hmm, I got a chance to win an acre of land. Mm -hmm. Where is, and what's it cost? In $25. 25 Just $25 and you can win a whole acre of land nicely cut Two out. Whole slots. In in Ladyville, <laughs> yes, and it's close. titled everything. So you win it, man, you'd have the best Christmas ever. <laughs> so we tell you, come by the Cancer Society office, <laughs> find one of our board members. We have tickets available. Right. right now, as we so speak. Right now. You can buy the raffle tickets and be eligible for winning the land. Yes. You can participate, register and participate mm -hmm. in the ride. And you can also just donate, donate. because exactly. you want to help. That's right? right. All right, so let's talk one more time about this ride. Karen. If you're not in shape, can you handle it? Yes, because you have <laughs> you have pushers and encouragers yes. along oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yes, even if it's... I knew that was going to be so her. <laughs> so let's say you want to support, you meet the ride at, say, mile 10 mm -hmm. yeah. on, on, on the high Western Highway coming in, mm -hmm. or George Price Highway. Mm -hmm. Just ride into town exactly. with the group and get all the exactly. chairs and people and be like, I don't know Marlene ride that part. Girl, but, but and I'm guilty of that. So. <laughs> but oh, you did the last lap? Yes. I, I do the beginning I and then the middle and then the end. A lot of, <laughs> people, a lot of <laughs> residents from Belmopan City joined there uh -huh. and ride to Belize, which is 50 miles, and they get a ride back. Yeah. But it's just to show up and to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Because like we say in a Creole, today for you, tomorrow, tomorrow for me. Mm -hmm. Right. Today for me, tomorrow for you. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. So we wish we could get a thousand cyclists on that, exactly. and we have full support of the Ministry of Transport. That's right. And, and there are a lot of people who ride even recreationally, yes. so all yes. of them can come out and do what they can. So as you said, exactly. if you get tired, you can and go and wait in the vehicle. The service vehicle. will be out yeah. there exactly. with their service vehicle. There'll be a lot of um, Caribbean shipping. shipping. Mm -hmm. Always have their service. So it, there's Kia, no shortage yeah. of support. Yeah. Yep. Belize no, State so is going to be there. Exactly. When is the ride again? When is this ride? The 13th and, and the 14th of October. October. And yeah. you have the 15th. I was just so going to say, you have a <laughs> you got a recovery <laughs> day. You're good for work the Tuesday. That's <laughs> right. All right. $50 for the two days, $25 for one yes, day. If you do $50, you get the commemorative T-shirt. Uh, mm -hmm. Service. And you get service, service. and everything mm -hmm. else in between. Don't miss it. Uh, do something different. We spoke of that this morning. Uh, maybe the ride is what you're looking for. Thank you, ladies, for coming in. Thank you for Thank having us. Excellent. Us. We're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, it's a new business spotlight. We remember Hanolin from the stage. Now he's making coffee. Stay tuned. Thank you.